right, this is the part that I've been dreading. Not because it's going to be hard, it's actually going to be pretty easy. But pulling the dash apart, I don't know about. I don't do this for a living, I don't do this every day. So these type of vehicles don't come through for me to pull apart all the time. So I'm going to figure it out real soon. Basically all we're going to do is interrupt the factory deck with the new components and then put it all back together. Send my little optical cable out and then I can start worrying about the amps course, later. This is actually video number two of the sound system install because I've already done the excess power battery and I did the Mechman alternator here, 370 amps. I haven't ran any wire or anything yet. As soon as I get ready to do the system, obviously I'm gonna upgrade all the wiring and everything else. All right, just like a lot of the projects I do, they take time and it's a lot of little stuff you guys don't need to see. So I'm gonna go into time-lapse mode as soon as we get this thing going. That way we can speed up the process. You don't miss nothing and I get to speed it up. It's awesome. Should be pretty simple plug and play almost 100% I got this I got this this is gonna plug into the deck this is gonna plug in right behind it and then I put it all back together with the exception of this toss link cable optical and the remote wire coming off of it I'm gonna be done here in a matter of minutes it's gonna be awesome all right, so it's this plug right here this one comes out the harness goes in and then it plugs right back into the harness. And we got another one right here. Pop that out. Pop this in. Just like that, done. Now I just gotta tuck all these wires in somehow and mount these and we're good to go. I got a nice braided 25 foot toss link cable. I'm gonna plug right into this thing as well.
All right, I thought for sure that there was gonna be enough room to fit it right here, but I guess not. But I found an even better spot down below. So it should be completely out of the way now. Cool. We're in. Let me two of those screws down there. All right, it was a lot tighter behind that dash than I anticipated. I had a hard time pushing that stuff back together, but I moved it down. There was plenty of harness to spare. I was able to put it right here behind this little panel, which is even better for me because if I need to get to it, this panel pops right out. So I got about 25 feet of remote wire. I got about 25 feet of toss link cable. The system's not ready to install yet, but I'm gonna be way ahead of the game by getting this handled. Make sure it's working. Oh, look at that. That right there is sound. I like it. Put the little cap back on it because I'm not using it right now. You don't want to ruin that. And tuck that right up in here. For right now. Look at that, brand new. Alright, it's all back together. Everything works perfect still. Got my optical cable and my remote down there ready to go. As soon as I build my amp rack, I'll have somewhere to put them. That was about the easiest integration I think I've ever done. Plug and play all the way. The hardest part was pulling the dash apart. I've never pulled one of these apart before, but now that I have, I can do it with my eyes closed. Next step is choosing my amplifiers. I've already got the processor, building an amp rack, building a speaker box, and uh, mids and highs and everything that comes with it. Stay tuned if you want to see how this turns out. I don't even know how it's going to turn out yet. I got a lot of work ahead of me. All right, the M650 is installed. It's done. It's doing its job that I know of so far. I got a nice clean install. I got a nice clean output ready to go whenever I'm ready. As soon as my amp rack is ready, it couldn't get no better. Everything is retained. All the factory chimes, everything is retained the way it's supposed to be. So that's going to be great. But what does the VIM do? Well, I'm about ready to show you. Check this out. All right, we got a little Blu-ray disc here. Pop that in.
DVD player, no big deal, pretty common. What's the problem? Well, as soon as you start driving, the front screen shuts off. As soon as the vehicle moves, the front screen shuts off. And I'm not really big on watching TV while I drive. It's not that big of a deal to me and not that thrilled about that stuff anymore. But when I got my grandkids in the back and they're watching videos, I can't see what's going on on their screen at all. I can't change the menus or anything until I stop. Same for the navigation. You can't type in an address until you stop. It's kind of annoying. So problem solved. Check this out. Tell me what so a week before Tony's gonna ship out. All right, not only am I watching TV while I'm driving, I'm also filming, but I'm in an empty parking lot with nobody around, so it's nice and safe, don't worry. All right, here we go. As soon as I put this thing in drive, gone. Look at that. So I got my grandkids in the back. We wanna skip a chapter or something, I can't do it until I stop, and I still can't see what's on the screen while I'm in drive. So I'm gonna start driving. All right, yeah, nothing here, nothing here. But watch this. We're gonna hit this rear defroster button twice. Up ahead, it's Pandora. Bam, you grew look up at that there. mod. But now we're good to go. Going there. Oh yeah. Vehicle in motion, gotta love it. Your brother represented a significant investment. We'd like to you can hit it again twice. And since your genome is identical to his, and make it go off again. I don't know why you would want it to, but you can. So to speak. Look at that. The whole keypad's working while I'm driving. Normally you can't do anything while you're moving. I was getting towels. TAV16 on approach. Crossing out a marker. Mine is inside. All right, that's the end of that. I'm good to go. I'm ready to build my amp rack. I'm ready to pick out my amplifiers. I'm ready to get this whole project started. Like I said, the alternator and the battery have already been done, which makes this video number two. Watch out for video number three. Not sure what I'm doing next, but you know I'll do something good. One thing at a time, it'll get done. I'm out. Thanks for watching.